Hi, my name is João and I'm sailing on my boat Winderlust. I got it in Barcelona in July 2020 and been sailing it around down the Spanish coast, onto Gibraltar, then the Canaries, then to the Cape Verde Islands and cross the Atlantic to Martinique. And then I left on a four day solo trip down to Curaçao, where I'm now in the ABCs, the Dutch Caribbean. And I've also stopped here in order to fix the UV band protection of the Genoa. Uh, because I just got a squall on the first day leaving Martinique. It was kind of the baptism <laughs> back on back on the wind. But it's all good. And stay updated, follow this journey. It's a beautiful video today about this four-day sailing trip. Hey, what's up? First day, almost over. The sun is just uh, setting right now. It's uh, half past six. And yeah, some uh, surprising day today. Some squall caught me by surprise. And the UV band of the Genoa again got a bit ripped out. So I guess I'll have to fix it. Either in Panama if it, everything goes right or uh, Maybe on the way, Curaçao, let's see what happens. Uh, yeah, apart from that, the wind uh, is kind of good, but strong gusts. And uh, for, this, for this evening, for this night, even stronger gusts. So I slept a bit, rested a bit during the day because the night is going to be pushy. Let's see what, uh, what the stars bring and um, let's see it, keep on sailing. Now I'm leaving Martinique behind, I barely can see it and there I can see in the end, hope you can see too, I can see the, the Grand Piton, the Grand Piton and Petit Piton, Saint Lucia, uh, it looks nice on the distance but for some other time, okay, see you tomorrow guys. Yeah, good morning. Second day of this trip. Uh, just started. It's uh, early morning, but the sun is already high. And so far so good. Some rain, some squalls. Um, but the boat is moving. Even though there is this issue with the, with the leech leech or loof of the Genoa it's the UV band protection but apart from that everything smooth um, I'm realistically thinking of stopping in Curaçao to fix the UV band it should be straightforward so yeah and finally the Sun came out yeah, it was covered by the, 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 uh, the clouds and now the batteries are charging. I got these uh, gel batteries in Cape Verde. And I mean, it's good because they are maintenance free or nearly maintenance free, but they don't have that much capacity. So I bought two, maybe we should have bought three. But yeah, it's all good. Sometimes I had to give it an extra power in the engine. Uh, and that's it. Caribbean Sea on the way to Panama, stopping in Curaçao. Yeah, so I can see some uh, boats out there. It looks like it's uh, like fishing boats. Two. I hope you can see them. But they are not uh, on the AIS. Looks like some illegal fishing, but not sure. Wicked man, you could never defeat us, you know? Because this one is a love revolutionary. Hey, so I just passed by those uh, two apparently fishing uh, vessels. 
they are still over there. Let me see, okay, they're in the in the in the background. Maybe you cannot see it from there, but they're over there. Uh, apparently like a uh, trolling uh, fishing and yeah that's it you never know because uh, in these waters I'm um, very close to Venezuela there are also some uh, registrations of uh, piracy attacks and you never know so I was kind of cautiously passing by but apparently now they are uh, behind and I'm moving forward follow follow the sun it's beautiful. It's really, really, really beautiful. Yeah, so and that's it. Just about to start uh, one more evening. Uh, the second evening here on the boat. Yesterday was quite fun. Always stuff to do. Uh, the sky was clear with stars, beautiful. There are some clouds today, but I think they will not cause trouble. Let's hope so. And that's it. See you tomorrow, guys. What's up everyone? Good morning, good afternoon. And depends on where you are. And third day of the trip, this is day three. So far also good. Um, yesterday was a bit worried with these uh, fishing uh, boats. Uh, but nothing happened, you know. No problem, just passed by them. And they kept fishing. Then uh, more further into the night, I was also seeing another boat, it was a sailing boat, apparently. Um, they kept going, they were like also going to Curaçao, I guess, to the ABCs, according to their, uh, to their direction. And that's it, right now I'm just approaching uh, Venezuela, some islands, part of Venezuela. Uh, Isla Blanquilla, Isla Blanquilla, and uh, Los Hermanos some rocks next to it and um, yeah so so far so good in the middle of nowhere can can't see yet the, the islands but they should be there like uh, this direction and yeah very soon I'm gonna turn uh, west or kind of north uh, northwest now I'm heading southwest now I'll start heading uh, northwest um, I always give it an angle to the wind, even though I'm sailing backwind. Um, yeah, like broad reach, I prefer. It's more comfortable. Um, you always have to juggle with the waves. But yeah, so far so good. Um, no issues. And that's it, there's nothing here. Just me, myself and I. And the boat. And I imagine uh, a lot of fish down there. <laughs> yeah, let's see how it goes. Also, the weather looks uh, kind of fair, but uh, during the evenings, the wind picks up always a bit stronger. It's gonna be this evening the same, uh, but I got the sails reefed. I'm already preparing for it. And yeah, that's it. Looking good. Música en canal.
what's up? Just arriving now in uh, Curaçao, passing by Bonaire. Bonaire, it's the the ABCs, the Dutch Caribbean. Uh, well, they are just they are not actually Dutch. They are under the Dutch crown. But whatever, it's just a detail. But uh, the the one that it's uh, easternmost, so it was the first for me to pass by. Uh, it was uh, Bonaire. It's there. Maybe you can see some lights. There is also there is also like a cruise liner passing by. Uh, they are usually known as they don't care about other boats, but this one. I mean, we are not on the same route, but no issues. And it's it, Curaçao. It's really close. Just waiting for the sunrise, and which should be very very soon. The sun should be rising like in a 30 minutes, one hour, starting to have some daylight and then into Curaçao. Arriving in Curaçao, and uh, these mountains remind me of uh, the Brazilian and Venezuelan also uh, mountains, namely in the border, Monte Roraima, uh, Angel Falls, and yeah, it's probably similar uh, geodesical. Uh, like uh, origin but split around because this island is just like um, like 50 miles or 100 kilometers 50 kilometers something like that from the South America so this is like South American vibe here in the Caribbean uh, even though this technically is more like uh, Central America but it's so like South America Curaçao Island, part of the ABCs, the Dutch Caribbean. And next to it, on the other side of this channel, we have Klein Curaçao, the little Curaçao, the lighthouse, and just a few other things. Apparently, very, very good for snorkeling. Getting ready here to talk with the uh, the harbor. You have to present yourself to the harbor authorities as you arrive. And I mean, even though I read on the this, uh, it's like an application for uh, sailors, <laughs> and they say there, yacht is not welcome. But fuck them, man. I don't care. But you know, it's always good to be like properly dressed up, like a proper yachty. <laughs> These uh, typical Portuguese uh, sailor shoes. Uh, a lot come from Portugal actually and uh, they are exported. These are from Decathlon and, but they are made in Portugal. A lot of shoes from Decathlon are made in Portugal. Also the surf boots. It's nice. That reminds me of a story, you know, like I was traveling in South Africa and I met a woman there in the hostel, something like that. And she was like a back in the day traveler and backpacker. The South Africans wanted to go travel in Europe and she was like, a, she was kind of mental. Uh, she, she, she was fixed on the idea of going to Portugal to get uh, some nice boots. And yeah, that was like in the 70s. So back in the day, it was already like famous Portugal for the, the shoes. 
That's it. Yeah, it's one of the few things. But nowadays with globalization, yeah, you can make shoes cheaper everywhere. So let's see how the story unfolds. Okay, just about to arrive in uh, Curaçao. part of Venezuela, La Blanquilla, also next to Los Hermanos, and uh, yeah, I was trying to speak like Hugo Chavez. <laughs> Palante, comandante! 